Today we will create this shot in DaVinci Resolve. It's a 8-bit footage in S-Log2. So first uh, we will use the temperature node, then the Rec 709. So we will adjust the white balance after applying Rec 709. Go to Effects, Colored Space Transform. For input color space, I will choose S Gamut 3. And input gamma, I will choose S Log 2. And output color space will be Rec 709. Output gamma will be Rec 709A. So you can see uh, our footage is more towards red. You can see the charts here. Shadows are a little bit higher in red. We will try to adjust the white balance in temperature node. That's before this Rec 709. So we will use this pick color tool and go here because this was white surface. So this is how it looks, but we can see in the shadows, highlights are a little bit red right, still. So we'll try go into lift and move our cursor in the opposite direction than red. So this is red. We'll move toward round about here. So I can get clean white. So we will go into the gamma and decrease our blues. So so these are blues we will try to move them towards green so this is the footage that we get uh, if i disable the temperature node we can see the difference that we made so you can see the charts here and now they are almost balanced there are a little bit more of blues we will try to decrease that too bring this structure online at the end and then we will add contrast and the lift I'll try to increase the lift a little bit or maybe decrease the gain and now increase the gamma so now go into the log wheels and decrease highlights go into the texture mode and in light tab I will increase the light so we can see here the difference that we made. So it's look good to me. And highlights are not above this line, or we can decrease them a little bit. So around about here. Next node will be saturation. For most part, I do saturation using these curves, hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, and hue versus luma. So let's do it then I will add markers for red you can see here I'll try to match it to a little bit of yellowish look yeah here and for yellow this our trophy I'll try to give a little bit of reddish look to make it stand out from the background so for the greens that are here here I will decrease them towards blue and for cyan I will make it a little bit of white look and for blues i will increase the blues and i will increase the blues and now we will move to hue versus saturation which is to increase saturation of each individual color so for red i will decrease this so we'll try to decrease that not too much but down about here and for the yellowish part i will increase the saturation because that's the color of trophy we will try to increase that as much as we can so it don't affect the other areas you can see here I'll try to keep it here I'll try to decrease them and for cyan I will decrease it so all of the cyan's here and here will be gone so we will get a clean white look and for these blues you can see look here and there are blues in the shadows also so I will try to decrease them the saturation of blues look part let's name it into primary color wheels we will first try to add yellowish hue in the gamma because we wanted this trophy to look more yellow so it stand out on about here and we also have yellowish hue in the shadows and the highlights we will go in lift and decrease that in the opposite direction of yellow we increase gamma in this direction so we will decrease that Round about here and increase the gamma towards yellow and decrease lift more 
go into log wheel and in the shadows we can say a little bit of blues we'll try to remove that in the shadows by moving the cursor in the opposite direction drawn but here and for the mid tones we can see there's a layer we show on these white plates so we will try to compensate this also by moving our cursor in the opposite direction now we will go into curves and select each individual red green and blue channels and adjust them in highlights and shadows first we will change the blue color in the shadows we will try to decrease it and in the highlights we will try to decrease it too and in the greens we will try to decrease the greens now we will add another node which will be LUT and go into LUT and fill nook and you can choose any of these based, off, based on your preference I will choose the 65 and go into this key section and decrease the key output so we can add a little bit of contrast here so so this is how our photo look like this is start this is before and this is after so let's play it from the start this is it uh, if you have any questions let me know i will write back to you as soon as possible and please subscribe to my channel thank you